Then three. Don't film if you already knew your message before filming. Just become a teacher. Don't try to save the world. Don't try to change the world. Better if your film will change you. Discover both the world and yourself whilst filming. If you, if you feel you're comfortable, if you, if you feel you're comfortable when you are director, I don't, did you see good film which made by film, fiction filmmaker who start to make documentary? Probably a few examples, like one or two, three maximum. Uh -huh. Normally filmmakers who make fiction, I guess they use different part of brain or different part of soul or different part of heart. We use just something different. And, and same with, with people who make TV reportage or documentary for TV. Probably they normally use brain or intellect or they, they know a lot of about subject. I don't know about subject. I just, I just, I like it, that's all. Mm. Not like, like it from words. I, but, do, do no. we, we, so if is it something for you to, do you know when, in, in, in the film, what you mentioned on Wednesday, there is episode in the end. In the beginning and the end, there are two episodes. Uh, uh, in the end of the film, there is episode when in the prison, and I came to, to prison, one guy who was born in, with me at Saint Bay was in prison, and I came to him, and they gave me like 10 minutes only to talk. And I didn't see him before, and he didn't see me, and they just opened door and he came and I didn't know what to do and I switch on camera and I start to talk with him and just try to understand what happens I said to him you know what I'm making film about people who was born with me in same day 19 of July 61 in St. Petersburg and it was born 50 boys and 51 girls in same day and you as well and uh, and he said and I uh, all of them still alive, are still alive, and he asked me, and I said, yeah, four of them not alive, and all two died in, in just, just normal life, died, and two was killed in, in, in Afghanistan, and, and then he said, and then I started to, and then I said, 70 people still live in the Petersburg, and, um, Eight people moved to Vladivostok. Can you imagine from 100 people born in St. Petersburg? I don't know why, but eight people just moved to Vladivostok. And then four people, nobody knows why, but they moved to Chad. Chad in Africa. And he was just listening to me like that. And then he said, something unbelievable. I don't believe. In that moment, I was the most happy person in the world because he said, are they happy who moved to Chad and Vladivostok? It's unbelievable. It's really Russian, like top of the line. If you think who is who are Russians, you can always say Russians who never happy here, who always think happiness somewhere, and who always think happiness is possible. If you remember Dostoevsky book, Karamazov's brother, there is a one page best page i guess in russian literature there, there is a talk between all karamazov brothers and father and they talk with um, they talk in the church with uh, pastor and and they tr they they are thinking about there is god exists or not and something like that and um, this conversation was something like that do you believe in god and she said uh, no i don't believe and I don't believe you believe. And, and he said, why I don't believe? Because, and he said, because it's written on the Bible that if you really believe in God, and you will say to this mount, go to river, the mount will go to river. Just say to this mount, go to river. And it will not go. It means you don't believe. But, and then he said, but I, I believe that there is someone in the world who will say to mountain, go to river, and mountain will go to river. And then, Fazo, I guess Fazo, Karamazov said, look, this is Russians. They don't believe in God, 
but they believe it possible to believe i they believe it someone is it's the same like in 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 wednesday he he he's not happy and he didn't ask about people who live in St. Petersburg are they happy or not but he believed probably who moved to Vladivostok or to Chad probably they are happy and he, his eyes were so hopeful yeah. he was so no yeah he was he, he really wanted them to be happy and after this moment I didn't believe you you know you came for 10 minutes you, you had no possibility to talk before and then just accidental you you are listening to something top of Russian mentality. Yeah. You're just happy. I, I remember this moment. My, I was like, uh, I was crying just because I'm happy to watch it. Mm. Right? That's what I feel. If you, if, you, if you became happy from filming documentary, then just make it. But if you always want to, to move people, to, to say, look like that, it's much better for your, for, for, for your face, or say something, that's make fiction. Yeah, just make fiction. Mm. So.